My name is Drummond Rennie. Welcome to the 8th Peer Review Congress. It's a day for me exactly 50 years ago, September 10th, 67. Having run out of research funds in London, I emigrated to Chicago. And what a wonderful anniversary that was. It's a good omen. Can we have the slide, please? I'd like to begin by honoring my, I don't usually do this sort of thing, honoring my friend Jean Garfield, who's having dinner there at our house, Deb and mine, age 91. He was a genius, a good friend to me, a generous benefactor to the uh, Cochrane Center in San Francisco. The fundamental reason we undertake peer review is to increase the quality of what we publish. But papers in our field are bedeviled by failure to establish a reliable metric for quality. Looking back, it's clear that everything changed with Jean's article in the late uh, 50s uh, on exactly that. He took a simple idea, the quality of an article, a journal, or a scientist could best be gauged by the use that other experts in the field found uh, use, when they found it, them useful enough to cite. And he solved the problem of how many journals uh, by an extension of what's called Bradford's Law. In other words, 20% of whatever contains the gist of 80% of what's done. Gene had a huge vision, a mathematical insight, originality. He made the impact factor metric happen. He had the entrepreneurial talent to make people see his way, and he became rich. For the first several peer review congresses, the impact factor became the defining metric to select journals for study. He showed that quality could be measured, and despite his own stringent warnings against impact factor, its use, its limitations, and misuse, we still depend on Gene's basic metric. Dear Gene, you clever, clever, clever man. What a Pandora's box you opened. <laughs> now I'm going to thank everybody who matters, apart from Annette Flanagan, who matters very, very much indeed. Early on, we at JAMA have been, were joined by the BMJ, first Richard Smith and then Fiona and Theo Bloom's here and Trish and all sorts of BMJ, robust uh, researching people from the BMJ with lots of moral backing. That's proved to be crucial, especially when financials, finances look rocky early on. More recently, we asked the newly formed Meta Research Innovation Center at Stanford, Metrics, in the formidable persons and gigantic brains of Steve Goodman and John Ioannidis. We ask them in. We take reviewing research on review very seriously. Annette Flanagan and I thank our advisory board reviewers for their work on the record 260 abstracts that came in. Annette and I decided the task of handling the abstracts and reviews was altogether too hard for us, so we brought in Mike Berkowitz, who's prowling around. My own email box contained nearly 3,000 emails on my portion alone. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for our sponsors and their names will appear on slides during the day. Please look at the names, please look at the exhibits. 28 years ago, what we really needed was an energetics uh, support of the visionary George Lumberg, then editor-in-chief. We've always had consistent backing from the AMA, 
most recently in the person of our publisher, Tom Easley. I'm moved to find that right now, our most enthusiastic, wisest, and smartest guide and friend is my old boss, Howard Bauchner, or my young old boss, Howard Bauchner. He's allowed us a free hand. And of course, none of this would have been at all possible without dear Annette. Her brilliant mind, subtle ways, organizational, mu uh, organizational muscle, really. Say hello to her, her staff, Rosa, Jenny, and Caroline, and also to Connie, Connie who works uh, back uh, out with me in Oregon. And as always, I thank for a constant encouragement my dear wife, Deb, whose name, that's D. Rennie, gets muddled with my own and whose scientific achievements will, I hope, greatly enhance my H factor. <laughs> Housekeeping. We have a very primitive, old-fashioned uh, format. Everyone can hear everything. Talks will start and stop at the allotted time. And you should turn off your phones, by the way. We strongly encourage you in the audience to ask questions. When you get up, get up and go to the mic. Stand there, you'll be called in order. Speak up, say who you are, say who you are. Ask a question, don't give a speech. <laughs> All the presentations will be embargoed until 8 a.m. on the day of presentation. So let battle commence or the games commence.